Hello, how are you? So uh, this video is Cardio and Tone, which is usually held on Mondays at 11 o'clock with me, Aaron. So thank you for tuning in and joining today. So we'll go ahead and get started the way that we usually do. Two dollars between your feet, which is about the same width as a chair. You're at home, so if you have two dollars or a check lying around, you can go ahead and measure that distance for yourself. Let's think about that string at the top of our head, lifting and lengthening our spine, bracing the core, and we'll go up on our toes and back on our heels. Up on the toes and back on the heels. Keeping the knees slightly bent, taking your time, breathing easy. Just working on controlling the weight shift forward and back on your foot. Good, let's go ahead and do some knee circles. Hands on the knees. And reverse. Good, let's stay up tall, hands on the hips and do some hip circles. You might play with the distance between your feet with the feet a little bit wider. You can move those hips a little more. Good, and reverse. All right, let's stand tall. We'll take the left hand and reach straight down the left leg, not forward, dropping those shoulders to the side. Then we stand tall and reach up and over. Reaching through your fingertips. Let's do it again. Straight down. Up and over. Opening up the rib cage on both sides. If your shoulder doesn't feel well enough to reach overhead, reach across. Again. We're just working on opening up your rib cage. Let's do this twice more on this side. Breathing easy, moving easy. Good, same thing on the other side. Nice and tall, straight down the leg. Reaching through those fingertips. Do your best to keep equal weight in both feet and not lean forward. Breathing easy, moving easy. And we'll do two more on this side. And one more. Very good. And from here, let's bring your thumbs towards your armpits and we swim with our elbows. Really trying to move your shoulders as much as you can. So let's make sure we're moving our shoulders. You want to point those elbows down to the ground and raise them up as high as you can. Good. And backstroke. Same thing. Elbows down. Raising them up. Try to work those shoulders as much as you can. Good, relax, shake that out. And now we'll move to our legs with our two-legged hamstring stretch. Feet, again, $2, about hip width apart, knees slightly bent, nice and easy, we hinge at the hips. Taking your time, weight in the heels, spine in the line. Keeping those knees slightly bent. Breathing out on your way down, help you go even farther. Let's do two more here. And one more.
Good. Let's do our one-legged hamstring stretch now. You're kicking the foot out with your heel on the ground and toes to the sky. We bend that back knee and move the hips back. Taking your time, the hips move back and the weight moves to your back foot. Have the chair or the counter close to you in case you need it. Let's do two more here on this side. And one more. Good, let's do the same on the other side. Kicking that foot out, heel down, toes up. Bend the back knee, keep your spine in the line. And here, when you breathe out, you can go a bit farther. And that's what we like to see. Going a little bit farther each time, stretching a little bit deeper each time, standing tall. Let's do two more here. And one more. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and move to our open books. Going back to that familiar stance of hip width, hands up, shoulders are down, one hand stays in front, nice and easy. We follow the other hand all the way around. Bring it back and do the same on the other side. Doing your best to keep that weight even in both feet. Breathe easy through this rotation. Relax your shoulders down. You might reach that front hand forward and feel your chest open up a little bit more, but still doing your best to not lean forward, back, or either side. Let's do two more on each side here. Relax those shoulders. Breathe easy. And whenever you're done, you can shake it out. I've got one more on the other side. Good. And now we'll do our cow and our camel. So, you can do the cow and the camel standing, seated, on all, all fours, whatever you want to do. Since you're at home, you might try a different position. Maybe you go on all fours, maybe you sit down in the chair. Either way, we're trying to work this spine, okay? All the way from the neck down to the pelvis. So let's start with the cow. We tilt the pelvis forward and squeeze the shoulders back. Camel. You tilt the pelvis back and roll the shoulders forward. Good. Cow, open the chest. Camel, belly button into your spine. Cow, pelvis is forward. Camel, pelvis moves back. Breathing in with the cow and out with your camel. Let's do a few more with your own breath. Weight always in the heels. Knees always slightly bent. Breathing in with the cow and out with the camel. Let's do two more beats right here. Good, shake that out. All right, we're gonna move to our hydrants and our super dogs now. So, We'll start with our hydrant, still keeping those feet at our about hip width, pulling that string tight at the top of your head. We'll shift the weight over to one side, nice and easy, pick up that opposite foot. We're gonna do five on each side. Doesn't matter how high that foot raises, let's keep our shoulders level. I've got two more on this side. Good. Five on the other side. Going back to those feet hip width. Standing tall. Shift the weight. Raise the foot. Keep the shoulders level. Brace your core. 
Shoulders down and back. Let's do two more here. Good, and shake that out. All right, now we're doing our super dog. We raise an arm and lift the opposite leg behind. We want the shoulders to stay down. We want the leg to be straight as it comes behind us. And those hips square with your chair. Here we go, nice and tall. Head up, shoulders down. We raise an arm and the opposite leg and back down with control. Good. We're gonna hold it for a second and control it back down. Taking your time, bringing those feet back to hip width. We'll do two more here. And one more. Good, let's do the same on the other side, right? Head up. Raise an arm, lift the opposite leg. It's straight behind you. Moving from the hip. Squeezing your glutes. Squeezing those shoulder blades down and back. I've got two more. And one more. Good, and let's shake that out. All right, our rhythm step is next. It's three steps, and we hold that one foot up on the third step for a three count, okay? I say hold one foot up, but you have options. You can bring that foot out to the front, to the side, or keep your toes down, okay? We're looking for good body position, that string tight, shoulders level, hips square, and hopefully you're still breathing. Here we go, head up, eyes up, Ready, and step. One, two, three, hold, two, three. 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 One, two, three, hold, two. Three, one, two, three, and hold it. Three, good job. All right, so you're probably at home, and I would think that more than likely you probably have some carpet down on the ground, or maybe you're standing on top of a rug right now. Either way, we always need to make sure that we're picking up our feet, okay? Picking up the feet. I like to say, bring your big toe up and everything else will follow, all right? So think about when you take those steps, pulling up the toes, and that'll pick up your foot a bit higher. When you're on carpet or on a rug, it might seem like you're really picking up your foot, but you got a good bit of space there. And then you have some softness and give with that rug, and you're probably not picking up your feet as high as you think you are. All right, so let's pick them up a little bit higher the second time around. Here we go. Feet are hip width, head is up. We have something within a hand's reach, working on that good body position. Ready, and step. One, two, three, hold, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and hold it. Three, good. Work. Shake it out. All right. And this time we're going to add a little bit of a challenge, okay? So we'll do a step and tap. Two, three. Step, tap, tap, hold. Two, three. Step, tap, tap, hold. Two, three. Three, step, tap, tap, 
hold, two, three. Okay, got it? That was practice. Now we're gonna do it. Here we go, nice and tall. Ready? And step. Two, three, hold, two, three. 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 Step. Two, three, hold it. Three. Good job. Shake it out. All right, let's go ahead and move to our heel raises. So we have those feet at hip width, we raise the heels up, come back down, go right back up. We're not gonna shift the weight to the heel and not break out the hips. We don't want this here, okay? Nice, solid control through your core, pulling that string up. Here we go. 10 times, hold for 10 on the last one. Ready? And up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax and shake that out. All right, now we're gonna turn the toes in and the heels out. Same thing, head up, ready, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, relax, shake that out. All right, next we have the toes out and the heels in, but still keeping two dollars between those heels and standing tall. Ready and up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax and shake that out. Stretch it out. Big step back with your heel on the ground. Or maybe you bring the toes against the back of your chair. Lean forward. Or doing whatever you need to do to find that stretch you're looking for. All right. And you're at home, so really, whatever you need to do to find that stretch you're looking for, you do it. Maybe you put me on pause while you give yourself a little massage through your calf or your ankle. Whatever you need to do. Just trying to keep yourself healthy and moving. All right. We're gonna do those again, those heel raises. This time, we're gonna go a little bit quicker, quicker than what we just did, and I'm gonna add a bit of a challenge onto it, okay? So, first position, feet are hip width, toes are forward. Going a little bit quicker with our 10. This time, on the hold, I want you to do a toe march. So keeping those heels off of the ground, while we pick up our feet, okay? Pull that string, keep the shoulders level, breathe. Here we go. Ready and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and march. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and relax. 
Shake it out. Good. All right. This time, let's bring the toes in and the heels out. Keeping those knees slightly bent. This time, on the hold, I want you to draw the number eight. Real great big right in front of you. And let's switch up the direction every once in a while. All right? Here we go. Ready? And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. Good, good, good. All right. This time, on the hold, oh wait, toes out, heels in, $2 between those heels. All right, this time, on the hold, I want you to tell me girls' names that begin with the letter G, as in girl. But don't use that one. All right, here we go. Toes out, heels in. Ready? And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, relax, shake it out, stretch it out. How many names did you get? Did you get three? Did you get five? Either way, go ahead and practice. Maybe you do this again, and you try to get six names instead of five, or Maybe you do boys' names instead of girls' names. Whichever it is, just try to challenge yourself, okay? Getting better and better. And maybe one day, you'll name 15. Here we go. Uh, actually, no, we were not go. We'll sit down. And if you're new to cardio and tone or uh, strength and balance, those are the two classes I teach during the week. Please know that all of the exercises I do standing, but you can modify them and do them all seated, okay? All of those exercises that we just did, you could do those, do those seated. If you're confused about how to modify them by sitting down in the chair, just give me a call and we can go over it. Um, of course, you're not going to get that much of a balance challenge when you're seated, but you can still work on your posture, work on engaging your core while you raise the heels up, right? Having that control, not moving anything else while those heels raise, all right? So uh, usually our cardio and tone class is on a Monday and I check in with folks to see if they did anything fun and exciting on the weekend. Um, I can't hear what you have done, uh, but if at any time you wanna give me a call uh, and let me know what you're up to, I surely appreciate it. And I read uh, every email and listen to every message that I get on the phone. Uh, actually, I just got a few emails this weekend of folks walking around Harkness Circle and uh, saw some of the exercises that uh, we posted up to add a little bit more exercise to your exercise. Uh, I know that many of us uh, do a daily loop around the circle, um, but sometimes, you know, either that's not so engaging and fun, it can get a little bit boring, or it's not challenging enough after a little while. If you have that perceived exertion chart, if you're looking for any type of cardio benefit, you wanna make sure that you're working at a six or an eight. 
um, or a six, two, and eight on that uh, perceived, perceived exertion chart on a scale of one to 10. And so let's keep that in mind when you're doing some of the exercises here with me today, but also as you're walking around the circle, whether you're just walking or doing some exercises on that loop as well, make sure that you're feeling like you're getting a challenge, you're really doing some work, and that's where you're gonna see that cardio benefit. Alrighty? So, let's get started. Was that long enough of a break? If it wasn't, you can always press pause, but make sure that you come back and unpause me and do the rest of the class, okay? So, cardio and tone. We usually have four exercises, and we do those exercises for 20 seconds with about 10 to 20 seconds of rest in between those exercises. That's called an interval. So in order to challenge our heart a little bit more, we want to work a bit longer than we rest. So today, we'll do 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest, four exercises. Let's start with the first exercise. It's gonna be our boxer sit-up. We have our hands up at about where your shoulders are. We go back into a sit-up, sit up, and then we turn our head and our shoulders and reach in one direction, then the other. Now notice, I'm not leaning as I reach, okay? Just making that rotation through my spine and extending the arm, turning the head and the shoulders. That's exercise number one. Boxer sit-ups. Exercise number two is gonna be our staggered stance, sit to stand. One foot in front, one foot behind. When we stand with the head up and the chest up, we keep them up and sit back down. Switch legs. Up and back down. How can we modify that? Kick up one leg, then the other. Both down, one leg, then the other, both down. That's gonna be the modification for exercise number two. Exercise number three is gonna be our uppercuts, uppercut. We'll do this one standing or you can remain seated. Hands at the hips, we're scooping under and up, under and up, turning the head and the shoulders. If we stand, we do a little tip, Dip, excuse me, and punch up. Dip, and punch up. Dip, punch up. Got it? Good. Exercise number four. We're doing quick feet. Quick feet, that's all. Picking up the feet, running in place. Get up, get a little bit quicker as we get a little bit farther into our 20 seconds, all right? First exercise, boxer sit-ups. We're going in both directions when we sit up. Second exercise, stagger stance, sit to stand. Switching the feet at the bottom, or kicking one foot, then the other for that modification. Exercise number three, what is it? It's our uppercut, punching under and up, under and up. If we stand, do a little dip, help with that power, and punch it up. Exercise number four, quick feet, running in place, picking up those feet, you can stay seated, do the same thing, pump those arms, pick up the knees, all right. Four exercises, we're gonna go through them three times today. Four exercises, three times. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Let's we'll start round number one with exercise number one, which is what? Boxer sit-ups, that's right, hands up. Here we go, three, two, one, go! We sit up tall, rotate the head and the shoulders. Now, don't try to work at my pace. Don't work at your neighbor's pace. Working at your own pace. Keep breathing. And time. 10 seconds of rest. Exercise number two, what is it? 
Stagger stand, sit the stand. Three, two, one, go. One foot's a little forward, one foot's a little back. We're standing up tall. Pull that string, bring the hips through, shoulders down. Keep it up. And time. Exercise number three, what do we have? Uppercuts, that's right, doing it seated or standing, it's up to you, hands at the hips, three, two, one, punch it up. Scoop it under and up. If you're standing, we're doing a little dip. Turn your head, turn your shoulders, five seconds. And time, and what's number four? Quick feet, that's right. Start slow, start small. Three, two, one, go. Picking up the toes, picking up the feet, cut the arms. 10 more seconds. Speed it up if you feel comfortable. If you're feeling strong, five seconds. In time. Breathe. If you're standing, try to stay standing and keep moving a little bit. Pulling that breath down to your belly. We just don't want to immediately stop all activity when we've got our heart rate up high. We want to gradually slow it down. And you get a little bit longer of a rest in between our rounds. I forgot to tell you that surprise. All right, round number two, round number two. Let's do things a little bit differently. We'll switch up the order, okay? And I'll show you the modified version of those exercises. So, round number two, let's go to exercise number two, which was what? Staggered stance, double S, staggered stance, sit to stand, or we have those chair kicks. So here we go. Round number two, staggered stance, sit to stand, or Modified version is the chair kicks. Here we go, sitting up tall, standing up tall. Three, two, one, go. This is the modified version. You kick up one foot, then the other, and everything comes down together. Still sitting tall, breathe it. Five seconds. If you're doing those sit to stands, keep your head up. And time, good. Let's go to exercise number four. What's number four? Quick feet, that's right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. This is that modified version, we're picking up the knees, still picking up the toes. Touch your foot, 10 seconds. Speed it up. Get those knees up. And time, good work. All right, let's go up to exercise number one. What's exercise number one? Yeah, so those boxer sit-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Sitting up, turn your head and your shoulders both ways. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So it doesn't matter how you're breathing as long as you're doing it. <clears throat> and time. All right, final exercise. What are we missing? Number three. What's number three? It's our uppercuts. That's right. Hands at the hips. Three, two, one, go. If you're seated, we're sitting tall, turning the head and the shoulders. If you're standing, get a little dip in those hips. Power through. Five seconds. And time. Good work, y'all. All right. Round number three. We're almost done. Don't worry. You've got a little bit more rest, okay? Try to relax your neck and your shoulders. Release any tension you have here in your jaw. Working on catching your breath if you lost it. 
Pulling that breath all the way down to your belly, filling up those lungs from the bottom up. All right, you ready? Third round, final round. Let's switch it up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and start with our uppercuts. Which number were the uppercuts? Number three, that's right. So if you're doing those uppercuts, modify, you're staying here in your seat, turning your head and your shoulders. If you're doing them standing, let's get that little dip. Here we go, everyone's hands at the hips. Three, two, one, little dip, don't you know? Hips back, weight in the heels if you're standing. And power through, let's punch to the ceiling. Less than 10 seconds left. Keep moving. And time. Good job. Quick feet, quick feet. What number is quick feet? Number four, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Start small, start slow. And we'll start to speed it up. Pump those arms, pick up the knees. 10 seconds, speed it up. Pick up those toes, five seconds. Come on, pump those arms. Time, good job. Let's go to our boxer sit-ups. Which number is that, boxer sit-ups? Number one, that's right, find your seat. Here we go, nice and tall, hands up, breathe. Three, two, one, go. Sit up tall, turn your head and your shoulders. Come on, final round. Let's get all the way around, less than 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. If you need a break, take it. And time. I just did three punches there, did you see that? Good. All right, final exercise, what are we doing? That's right, sit to stand, or the chair kick, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Here we go, final exercise, final round, head up, chest up. Breathe, 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 come on. We got five seconds here, keep those feet apart, keep moving. And time. Good work. Again, let's try and release any tension that we might have just created. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Breathe. Whether you're standing or seated, let's go ahead and bring the feet wide apart and do a gentle twist. And pulling that breath all the way down to your belly. Release the tension in your neck and your shoulders. Good. And let's do our cool down. Find your seat. Sit down. Still work on finding your breath. We're going to take an arm and reach up and over through those fingertips. Use your breath to intensify that stress. Same on the other side. Good. And one more on the other side. And one more on the other side. And relax. Let's kick up our feet. And we'll draw circles going in the same direction. And reverse those circles. And let's go in opposite directions. And reverse those opposite directions. Good, keep those feet moving. With one hand, let's brush our hair. Hmm. With the other hand, let's roll down the window. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good. 
Good work. All right. Let's bring your feet and your knees over to one side of the chair. Feet flat on ground, knees apart. We'll sit tall. Move your hands to the back of your chair and rotate your upper body around. Relax your shoulders and breathe easy. Good. Now let's stretch your hip flexor. You sit tall. Bring that front foot behind you. Try to point your knee straight down. Squeeze your glutes. And relax. Sit in tall. One more time on this side. We'll rotate the upper body. Pull that string. Relax your shoulders. Good. And now let's stretch your hamstring, extending that front leg, heel on the ground, and we hinge forward at the hips. Good work. Let's move over to the other side. Feet flat, knees apart, rotate your upper body. And relax, let's stretch the hip flexor. Trying to point your front knee down to the ground. Squeeze your glutes, feel that stretch in the front of your hip here. And relax. One more time, let's rotate. Good, now we have that hamstring stretch. Heel down, toes up, let's breathe. Continue breathing. Try to go deeper into that stretch. Good, now let's come back to the front. Let's sit back and we'll do our head rotation. Dropping your chin down to your chest your ear to your shoulder, tip the head up and over other ear to other shoulder, and drop your chin back down. Keep it nice and easy around. Breathing easy. Relax your shoulders. And reverse if you haven't already. Good, head up, eyes up. Let's open up your arms and give yourself a big hug. Drop your elbows down and drop your chin. And look up, one more time, open up your arms, flip flop, other arm on top, drop your elbows, drop your chin. Relax your shoulders and allow your chin to fall. And let's look up. One more time, let's open up your arms. Give yourself a big hug. This one's for me. I miss you so much and hope that you're keeping yourself healthy and you keep moving around here, okay? Just bring your hand behind your head. Other hand reaches through your elbow and you bring it closer. And relax. Let's do the same on the, on the other side. If your shoulder doesn't feel well, bring that elbow in front and push it up. And relax. Let's do it one more time. This time, flex your bicep. Feel that stretch a little bit more. And relax, other side. Flex, flex, flex. Feel the stretch. And relax. Let's take the left hand and put it behind your back. Look to the right and drop your chin down to your chest. And look up. 
Keep looking to the right. If you want an extra stretch, bring your right hand behind your head and everything comes down. Still breathing easy and being gentle with your body. And look up. Let's do the same on the other side. That's the right hand behind your back and you look to the left and drop your chin down. And look up. Keep looking to the left. If you want that extra stretch, bring your left hand behind your head and everything comes down. Be gentle with your body, breathing easy. And look up. Here we go. Last one on the stretch out the leg. Heel on the ground and toes to the sky. We're sitting tall, keeping your spine in a line. Breathe easy and reach for your thigh, your knee, your calf, and your toes. Back to the calf. Knee, thigh, and up. Again, thigh. Knee, calf, toes. Calf. Knee, thigh, twice more thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, last time, thigh, knee, calf, past the toes, back to the calf, knee, thigh, and other side. Heel down. Toes up, sitting tall, ready? Thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, and again, thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, twice more, thigh, knee, calf, toes, Calf, knee, thigh, last time, thigh, knee, calf, pass the toes back to your calf, and your knee, and your thigh, and done. Great job. Thanks so much for joining me today, and every day you decide to bring up this video. Videos from last week are still posted. So you can vary up the different exercises that you do. Feel free to go along with us, or you can grab bits and pieces from each, exer each exercise video and put them together for your own individual program. As always, if you need us, feel free to give us a call or email, um, and we look forward to when we can see you again. Take care and keep moving.